Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can run multiple different bots on one Discord hosting plan. This will be running multiple Python bots on one plan, running multiple JavaScript bots on one plan, and also running multiple JavaScript and Python bots at the same time on the same plan. So let's get right into it. First of all, we're going to be doing multiple Python bots. So first of all, come down to the Languages and Pre-Install menu, go to Bot Pre-Installs on the left, and then select Multiple Bots at Once, Python. Once you've selected that, go ahead and click save and then run pre-install. Then we need to start our server. So once your server has started, it should quickly shut down once again. But that's because we don't currently have any bot files uploaded. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now go to the file manager on the left and it should look like this. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to create and then create a folder. And you're going to want to call this bot1. You can call it something different, but it does mean you have to change a setting later. So I'm going to call mine bot1 and we'll click create. And we're going to create another one called bot2. Now of course if you have more than two bots that you want to run at once, then you can create as many of these as you want. But I'm only going to be using two, so I've just made bot1 and bot2. Next what we're going to do is we're going to upload our bots files. So in each bot folder, you're going to upload one bot. So in bot1, if we go to upload and then file, we're only going to upload the files from a single bot. So that's one, and then in bot2, we're going to upload a different bot. So now we can go back. And then we're going to go to loader.py. And in here, you're going to want to edit these start files. So first of all here, this bot1 is the name of the folder. And that folder is where it's going to look for this file. So if you did name your folder something different, you're simply going to change bot1 or bot2 to whatever you name that folder to. And then for the start file, if yours is main.py, you can keep it like this. But if yours is something different like mine, then you're going to want to change it to that. So my start file is bot.py. And it's also that for the second one as well. If you do have a third or a fourth bot, what you can do is simply copy this second line, then make a new line and paste it in. Then of course you can change bot2 to bot3, and then also change the start file if you need to. And then one more thing you need to do is on the second one, you need to add a comma. So that after this one, it will run this one, and then after this one, it will run this one. As if you don't add the comma, it will just run the first two. So if of course you added a bot four, you'd also have to put a comma on this one. But I'm only using two bots for this, so I'm just gonna remove this. Make a new line, and then paste it in. And then of course you can change this to bot three, and then change the start file if you need to. But I'm only using two, so I'm just gonna go back. So that is everything that we need to change in here. But anyway, the last thing we're gonna want to change is we're gonna want to go down to requirements.txt. And in here, you're going to want to put any packages that your bot does require. The only package my bot requires is discord.py. So we simply type it in and then click save. And now we can go ahead and start them. So both my bots are in my server. So now if I start the server, these bots should then come online. And there we go, Pebble Python 1 and Pebble Python 2 are now online. Now if we go ahead and test them, if we do dollar hello, Pebble Python 1 should respond with hello. There we go. And dollar goodbye, Pebble Python 2 should respond with goodbye. There we go. So that's how to have multiple Python bots on a single plan. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you can have multiple JavaScript bots on the same plan. So first of all, come down to the languages and pre-install menu, and then go to bot pre-installs, and then select multiple bots at once, node.js. Then click save, and then click run pre-install. And then we're going to start our server. And this is just going to generate all the files that we'll need. So now we can go to our file manager. And it should look like this. Now here we already have our bot1 and 2 folders. If you are planning to run more than 2 bots, then go to create, then folder. And then you could type in, for example, bot3. And I will show you how to configure this later as well. But I'm only using 2 bots, so I'm just going to continue with bot1 and bot2. So now go into your bot1 and 2 folders. And then upload all your bots files. Now make sure you only put one bot per folder. So go to upload upload, file, and then I'm going to upload all the files I need for my first JS bot. And then we're going to do the same for bot2. So once you've done that, go back, and then we can go into loader.js. And in here, you're going to want to edit these start files. So where it says bot1 here, this is the folder that it's going to look in to find this file. So if your start file is something other than main.js, then you're going to want to change it to that instead. Now my start file is called index.js, so we're going to change it to that. And it's also the same for my second bot, so let's change it for that as well. Then we can click save, and then there we go. However, we're not quite done yet. So now you can go back, and then on the left, we're going to select the node package manager. Where in here, you're going to want to download any packages that you do need. So for me, 
all I need is discord.js. So if you click on it, you can then go ahead and click install. So now I've got discord.js installed, we can go back and you can see that we do have an installed package. So now we can go back and now we can go ahead and start our bots. So now if we start our bots up, we should see our two bots in our server come online. And there we go. As you can see, both pebblejs1 and pebblejs2 are now online. So now let's do a demonstration. So if I type in ping, only pebblejs1 should respond with pong. And then if I type in ding, only js2 has replied with dong. So as you can see, they're both completely independent bots and it's all working on one single plan. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you can have JavaScript bots and Python bots on one plan. So first of all, go to the languages and pre-installs menu, go to bot pre-installs and then select multiple bots at once, Node.js and Python. Select this and then click save and then run the pre-install. Then restart your server. So now our file should have generated. So if we go to the file manager on the left, this is what you should see. So first of all, we're gonna upload our bots files. So of course, if you need more than two bots, you can go ahead and make another folder like this. But we do have these example ones set up for you already. But in bot one, we're gonna upload our Node.js bot. So we'll go upload, file, and then we're gonna upload the files that our bot needs. Now let's do the same for the Python bot. All right, so once our bot is uploaded, we can go back. So then you want to go down to the loader.js file. When you go into it, we can then see this here, where we have the name of our bot, its directory, the start file, the type, auto restart, and then max retries. So if you do want to change the names, you can go ahead and change them. And if you instead called the folder something different than just bot1, node.js, and bot2, python, then you're gonna to want to change the directory to the name of those folders that you made. But all that I'm gonna to need to change is the start file, as my JS bot doesn't run with the start file main.js. It instead uses index.js. And then for my Python bot, instead of using main.py, it just uses bot.py. And then of course, if you have another bot that's for example, node.js, you're gonna to want to copy from here to here. And if it's Python, you're gonna to want to copy from here to here, and then simply make a new line, and then you can just paste it on. And then if we change that to Python bot2, and then change this to bot3 Python, and then of course change anything else we need as well. But I only have two, so I'm just going to remove this one. So it now looks like this. Next, we'll click save. And now we're going to need to go to requirements.txt. And this is the requirement for our Python bots. So the only thing that my bot requires is discord.py. So I'm simply just going to type in discord.py. If you need anything else, simply make a new line and put it in there as well. And then click save, and then there we go. And now one last thing we have to do, if you click back, you can then go to the node package manager on the left. And then in here, we're gonna install the packages that we need for our JavaScript bot. And the only thing I need for mine is discord.js. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. Once you've installed your packages, go back, and now you should be able to start your server. But before we start, you do want to make sure that you do change the start file if it hasn't been changed for you. So what we'll need is simply loader.js, then click save, and now you can start your server. And these two bots should now come online. So there we go, pebblejs and pebblepython have just come online. And now we can go ahead and try them out. So pebblejs1, that was ping, and it should respond with pong, there we go. And then for pebblepython1, if we put dollar and then hello, it will respond with hello. So that is how you can have multiple bots on the same plan. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.